Hi everyone, this is Ethan and Stacy. We're in China and today is the 1st of October. It means that today is the beginning of the national holiday. The biggest touristic flow in the world, I guess, now is happening right here in China. So we're going for five days to Chengdu and Chongqing and we've never been there. We really want to see Panda. So now we're in Beijing airport and we're about to have our flight in like two hours. So hit subscribe and more to come. So this is a really fancy way to check in, no need to go to the counter. Yeah, so only two seats left in the whole plane are row 24 or row 11, so not really cool. This is the time when everybody go to travel and that's why prices for everything is like popping like for example the hotel would cost you normally 200 kwai and now it costs you 600 and the airplane tickets everything is I don't know it's twice as expensive it's just every year we're like oh golden week we're gonna stay in Beijing we're not that silly and now look at us <laughs> it's like this every year We still have an hour, so we'll go to Vagas. This is a really good... I, I, I broke the wall. Sorry. Beijing airport is like safety freak. They check like five times within one hour. What do you have in your pocket? What do you have in your bag? What do you have in your mouth? Like this is the longest safety check we've ever experienced. And we do this every single time we travel from Beijing. Beijing International Airport is the second busiest in the world and the busiest in Asia in terms of passenger traffic and the sixth busiest in the world in counts of takes off and landings. And this is our gate. We're in Chengdu. One thing you need to know about Chengdu, here is a lot of pandas. So here's one thing, there is an app which is called Didi, which is like uh, Uber. So here uh, we need to get to the hotel, it costs like 43 kwai. And the problem is that we already cancelled the second driver because nobody speaks English. And that is a problem. They call us and like, oh, the show, blah, 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 and we're like, sorry, we don't speak English. Oh, we don't speak Chinese. And uh, yeah, we're stuck like for 20 minutes now. And those guys are charging like 200 for the trip, which is like 50 kwai. And the thing is that the app is in English, but drivers only speak Chinese. And that is like a puzzle to me. He's like very close. Ni hao. Ni hao. Check this out. This is 
like cheer, no legs. It's not very big. It's really decent Chinese style. So like I said, prices are super high during the golden week. So it's 70 US dollars a night. And I guess like after a week or maybe two, it's gonna be like $20 a night. Yeah. We are ready to go out. And we're outside. So now we're waiting for our friend. She's somewhere here, looking for us. You scared me. So many people. I'll, I'll ask, who are you waiting for? Hi, Robin. Hi. This is our blog. You can say something about yourself. I'm cute, by the way. This is my hometown. Welcome. Yes. Yeah. So according to Robin, this is the second biggest uh, shopping area in Asia. The first biggest is in Hong Kong and the third biggest is in Beijing. We want to go to one place. I don't know where Robin is taking us somewhere, but it's pretty far away. It's like 50 minutes of walking. So we tried taxi, but the guy said there's like a traffic jam. We went to the subway, but there's like a lot of people there. And there's another option, which I think only available in China. It's an e-bike taxi, which is not even like an official thing. It's just a guy who offered us to give us a ride. Is it safe? No. Let's try. So it's four people on one bike. This is our car. Where do I sit? Okay. Okay. Ready. Whoa. 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 So taxi would cost us 10 yuan and we take this cool scooter for 30 for three of us. But we're not standing in the traffic jam. So this is pig's brain. You can enjoy your brain. Good. Spicy? A bit. I want to try it. What are you eating? I'm eating tofu. It looks spicy, but it's not spicy. Listen, what are you eating? Still big brain. <laughs> I'm already calling, I'm already calling. You calling? Yeah, yeah. Calling. Keep calling, I'm keep. This is your ring this is Let's go outside. I want to, I want to I want to call the Chinese mobile. Okay. If you come to Chengdu, be careful. Do not put phones in your pockets, put them in the bag and I don't know. Just be, be careful in Chengdu. Now she's trying to call the mobile company to block her phone number.